Hey Tube, so it's like three o'clock in the morning or something. I've just had this idea for safety's come up a lot lately. I've promoted this, um, at least I've tried to promote it, I guess, because uh, it's been on my mind a lot. Um, not that I think for a second that what I haven't done isn't 99% safe. Yeah, it's probably 1% safe that's not safe, but I don't know. So I'm constantly trying to think of ways to make this better, make this process better, um, look at everybody else's ways of doing it and stuff like that. Now one one thing that um, Mike said the other day is about having a fire blanket wrapped around all your cells and making sure, you know, and to me that makes sense in theory, it doesn't make sense in practice, especially with my OCD and wanting everything to look good um so what i've come up with is sort of a little bit of a spin on it and i hope this makes sense with me rattling it off um i really don't plan on doing any editing on this video this is just going to be rip into it and sort of get shit out of my head type video um considering i've got about four other videos halfway through production probably we should be doing these ones but I'm going to do this one first because I think it's actually a good idea. So I need a bit of paper and this is my mud map for a Mac pulling all the screws apart and that's the doodles for my next video. Um, but I need a piece of paper. Uh, this is a mount and it is version, what is it, version 3? that there bring this over here oh yeah there we go now, this ain't perfect because they're not really designed to go in yet and they haven't been trimmed up and whatever so what the big thing that Mike was saying it was just about general safety. Now I might have to I might have to change this a little bit. Um, I really might have to I may have to put some more thought into this. I really might. Um, camera angles are gonna be a bit of a bit painful. So I've got in between these two cells. I told you this is going to be redneck. Right, so in between these two cells, there's two centimeters gap. Um, I could remake these mounts, not a problem. It's not going to be too much to maybe add another three centimeters between each one, giving five centimeters between each one. Now, if I had five centimeters between each one, now pretend for a second that this bit of paper is this is 1.6 millimeter steel um, probably one millimeter would be enough so if I go five centimeters, and this is going to be rough as all get out so if I go there uh, five centimeters there now I, I know there's maths involved and whatever else um, and so that's 80 85 deep 85 millimeters so if I go a hundred millimeters tall so I reckon if I go a centimeter in and, and again this is going to be rough this is going to be very very rough so that goes like that and then if I come up 100 so like that and of course you can't actually see what I'm doing this is this is paper aeroplane type stuff. A bit of R&D happening. Um, and fold that back over there. Now imagine for a second that this hole was five centimeters. If I got that, and that's my sort of profile, so I got um, that's, of course I'm working on a bit of rusty tin. Right yeah. So 
So that's my sort of profile there like that. Does that make sense? If I got that... Come on, I don't want to scratch my cells. If I got that... And put it underneath there like that... put it underneath there like that now that's <laughs> it's not the most rigid of ideas um, but oh. so the plan is if I had so if that was wider and I had it up and then down does that make sense? Um, ba basically, what I'm trying to do is, is if these cells vent, this one or this one, it would redirect, it would stop the, stop the flame from getting directly across, win. But if we had this five centimeters rather than two centimeter gap just here, and of course it's really, really hard holding the camera like this, it would redirect the flames up and out so it, it the, the flames would come out and then up does that even make sense okay so to me that kind of makes sense it's not gonna take a lot of re-engineering on that mount you could and I've already broken it. You could make this either, obviously it's gonna be the full length of the actual mount itself. But you could you could make that out of one mil steel. You could, um, I think it'd be, engineering wise, I don't think you'd actually be able to put it into, like build it into the mount. But you could certainly just make this in one, you could just cut this out of one sheet of steel and then bend it up and just sit it in there. And then all that you're going to have to do here, probably have to make this a, a millimetre or two longer. And this shaft here a millimetre or two longer, just so you can, just so you can put a millimetre or two of steel underneath there. But you can actually make that all the way along in, in one piece of sh steel so it's, Am I rambling, or does that actually make sense? Let me know below. Cheers, tubers.